inspired by a lot of, um, like, I, I feel like your style, it reminds me of old, you know, Tracy Smothers, you know, a lot of, a lot of good old country boys you saw in pro wrestling uh, kind of growing up. Is that is that where you draw a lot of your inspiration from? Well, my inspiration is the character. It really ain't, it's not a character. You know, everyone says you got to get yourself a character, you know, or whatnot. And that may be true, but the Jock Samson, Jock Samson. And that's it. I am, I am what you get. Mm -hmm. You know, but when you come to what I like about pro wrestling, you know, why I became a pro wrestler was when I was a kid, you know, and, and I was, I was, you know, my mother, uh, my parents were divorced. My father was a coal miner. Uh, and then me and my mother would bond quite a bit by watching you know, uh, wrestling while I was growing up. And, and we were more of a WWF 1980s, mm -hmm. you know, family. Cause my mom had a top was what was hot for Shawn Michaels and the rockers. Had a big <laughs> poster on her wall, you know, and, uh, we were real big. She took me to see wrestling, you know, up in Columbus, called Columbus, Ohio there. Uh, I can't remember the damn name of the building, but it was, it, it wasn't, it wasn't nationwide because nationwide wasn't there yet. Mm -hmm. uh, the Columbus Center or something, Ohio Center, that's what it was. And I still remember the main, you know, and WWE, I don't know if anyone remembers the old days, the main event of the show was always the first one before intermission. <clears throat> and then the second main event was the one that was been the last match, what a lot of people call the main event. And, and I remember I get to see uh, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, you know, go against, try to get his crown back from the Macho King Randy Savage. <laughs> and I still remember this, 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 this super well, man, because, you know, being a little kid, I don't know, uh, you know, anybody that was like eight, nine, ten years old back in the late 80s, early 90s, that didn't think Hacksaw Jim Duggan was the shiznit. <laughs> you know, I had a little phone two by four, shit yeah, you know. I was pretty excited, I, you know, and I and that main and, and the second main event was a funny story. Was the honky tonk, not the honky tonk man, sorry, the American Dream Dusty Rhodes uh, versus uh, the uh, the big boss man. And the mm -hmm. reason I remember this well is, if some fan threw a can of pop or a beer or whatever into the ring, probably about sixty feet. And I mean, he threw the damn thing and hit. The big boss man directly in the face. <laughs> and I still remember him taking down off the steps and pooping and hauling ass out downtown Columbus. And, uh, and I still remember him selling. And then all of a sudden, Dusty Rhodes came back right after that and just started firing up, giving the bionic elbow. And he, and he, you know, and he won the match and whatnot. But that, that's, uh, it was just a good time for me and my mother to, uh, to bond. But then, you know, my favorite wrestler, was always Rowdy Roddy Piper because uh, my family heritage is Scottish. Oh, so nice. I've always been big on anything Scott. Even though Ric Flair is my favorite, Roddy Piper probably is the main reason I am what I am, why I like to cut promos and why I work the way I do is because, you know, I have a thing for being a Scott. Awesome. Awesome. So, so were you, um, you know, were you WWF all the way through and through, like, you know, you know, to, you know, the day you started getting into it? Uh, yeah, believe it or not. Yeah. Everyone's going to think, I was, and don't get me wrong, I watched all wrestling. Yeah. Because, you know, they were all, I understand, kind of realized the styles were different and whatnot. Shit, I remember getting home from school, four o'clock. You know, I excited every day because I knew that I was going to see some Texas wrestling on there. You know, and then Saturday afternoon to 5.05 or 7.05, you'd see WCW or the NWA. You know, Saturday night. And I still remember uh, the varsity club. And, and even as a little kid, I, I, I don't know if anybody knows, but I'm a sports fan.